Hey there, boys and girls, this is Rob with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Defect, my nemesis. No, it's not my nemesis, and it's not torturous, although that word does come to mind when I play this. It's actually, it's really, really fun, but it is definitely far more challenging than I expected, and it wasn't, I, you know, you have to go into every mission and learn it, and then make it, make changes to your ships and then reload and try it again it's it's trial and error and i get it and i understand the game a little bit better now the last mission was kind of a rude awakening for me i thought you know it was i thought this was going to be more of a story driven game but it is definitely a challenge driven game each mission in itself needs to be treated like its own individual unique special flower or challenge <laughs> sorry anyway I'm going to I'm going to try another one. We're going to do Space Force 1. We're going to go the absolute opposite opposite direction of where I think we need to go because that's how I roll, boys and girls. That's what I do. I go I they say left, I go right, you know, or in this case, they say right, I go left. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head towards Space Force 1. So, what is this? I wish I you know, I I have an opportunity to practice a little bit in between, but I'm not taking that opportunity, at least not yet. <laughs> Just, you know, I've had just as much fun dying and retrying over and over and over and over and over and over as I have had winning. So I'm going to go with the flow and just keep doing what we're doing. So, uh, so, uh, little commander here, he's like, we're getting a distress call from the mayor of Asbestos. That's a terrible name for a planet. That's a terrible name. Uh, his, <laughs> is it a planet? I think it's a planet, isn't it? It's a planet or a ship. I think it's a planet, though. His space yacht has been taken over by pirates. Crippled that yacht without hitting any crew components. <gasps> oh, no, it's one of these kinds of missions. So I presume I have to destroy engines or something like that so that the ship can't fly anymore and not hit anything else on the ship. So we're going to need very precise weapons. Okay, so let's start building our ship with that in mind. So we want controlled, precise weapons. So basically, before I fast forward here, what I'm going to do, uh, oh, <laughs> and I, I again, you know, we're, we're, we'll probably have to come back to building, uh, you know, a couple times. I think we'll do the basic. I want to save some money here. Look, we've got 21, 2102 in, in scrap, in dollars. So that's good. We want to save some of that money. I want to be able to have a little bit of surplus money for when we start going the opposite direction on the map. So that's the point of going left so that we can kind of build up our Deserves. Hopefully. <laughs> of course, we could fail and fail and fail, and then I'll lose my mind and then spend all the money on stuff that's not necessary and then, you know, win the mission. <laughs> so, anyway, we're good. I don't, I, we do have a new core available to us, but I'm not going to use that new core because it's 250 scrap. At least we'll start with this one and see how it goes. So, what I was thinking in this mission, maybe, <laughs> is lasers. Freaking lasers, man. Um,. I, I really, I don't know. I, so this is a starting laser. It does damage two per second. And then we've got the blaster, tri-stage blaster. No, that's two per second. Yeah, and short range. Like these, well, ah, this laser's 18 range. Wow, that's the Bok beam. <laughs> Bok, Bok. Um, no, but this laser here, the burn master, is damage per second of four. And it's range 45. That's quite nice range. The problem is, if we get attacked by other ships, lasers, in my opinion, are not the best weapon to have. So I don't know. There's also the tri-stage bolt gun. So it says an impressive fire rate. I think we've used this before, but I'm not sure. An impressive fire rate and a high di high damage per shot. The bolt gun is deadly in the hands of a pilot that can actually aim. I think that's. I think it sounds like a precise weapon. I think that's what we're going to use. So basically, we're going we're gonna to pick out our weapons first. I think we'll do two of those for sure. And then we're going to do uh, some big engines because we're probably going to have to chase somebody. So we could do some big, monstrous, ugly engines. <laughs> <laughs> well, cuz why not? Let's just use the biggest ugliest engines we can and we'll use two of them and we'll make them like right in the right in, yeah, like right inside the, the ship like that. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We want them to be really big and obnoxious. And we're uh, keep in mind we also have to fight our old ship. And our old ship has those stupid auto-aiming chain guns. Oh. Oh, why did I put those on that ship? <laughs> I now know why this game is called Defect. But I think on the last ship, I think our core was on the outside of the ship, so we can maybe try to destroy that. That might be okay. Okay, so, and of course, we're going to add some... Ah, you know what? I will fast forward it now, and uh, I'll explain everything when I'm done. Okay, be right back. Okay, there you have it, folks. The BU-68 messy accident. 
I wouldn't have named it the messy accident. Um, it's just the name that the, the you know I didn't really have any choice. Oh, actually, I, I, sorry. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna actually gonna move this back a little bit. Just look look a little bit better. I think so. So what I've done is I've I, so these engines, these big engines here. Before I go any further, I'll explain what I've done. These big engines have a thrust of 85, mass two, armor three, power 12, and crew two. And with two of those on the ship, I didn't have enough power to be able to add the weapons I wanted. But this step up engine, it's it's 10 bucks more. It's better in every way and it uses less power and same amount of crew, but less power. But the only difference is it's got one point less armor, but it's faster too, like all around, like it's better, better, better. So, and it looks it looks better, but I was kind of hoping to do something hokey like the big space rocket, but I don't know, it just didn't work, practically didn't work. So I've got these engines, which are better, of course. And uh, yeah, so uh, the, the big, I, I, if I was naming the ship, it would be called the big giant head or something. Like, <laughs> um, but you can't name the ships. Oh, developer, allow me to name my ships. Uh, so yeah, basically we got the big giant head with a big freaking laser in it. <laughs> I love it. Laser, it's a big freaking laser. Look at that. I love it. So yeah, we I decided to add one laser in the center because whatever the eye looks at, it has to shoot at. And I, that that's that's my own probably my own little handicap like i'm adding a handicap for myself because because i'm because i think i'm good at this game no <laughs> because i want to have fun basically what that means is because this is a precision mission and i'm supposed to be destroying some engines and i can only control one weapon at a time in other words i can only stop my guns from firing on the weapons that i have selected I don't know if that makes any sense. So if I have the two blasters here selected, that means the laser is going to continue to fire. That means that I have to make sure that I'm aiming at the right targets or we're going to end up destroying something on the ship, like the crew pod. Like we're not supposed to destroy some crew pod or something. So anyway, I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm creating, I'm making this more difficult for myself to summarize <laughs> because I really want to have the big giant head with the big freaking laser in it. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know why. Okay, so the best, the BU-68 messy, messy accident is ready to go, and everything else looks good. Oh, and the reason I chose these wings is, is it gives a stability of 200. And although I'm not entirely sure about all of the things that stability does for you, but I'm pretty sure it makes it so that when you turn left, you turn left at a, at a, decent, at a decent rate and you don't overturn. So when, when, I, when I turn left and I stop turning left, I believe it stops, I think. And of course, steering is how quickly you steer, I believe. And of course, top speed's good, armor's good, mass is good, we're ready to go, let's do this! Oh, I feel like we should put some armor on here, actually, before we do that. Sir, like, oh yeah, oh, there we go. Armor 30, oh, perfect. Let's put that under the big giant head. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I know I know. I was, you know, I fast forward it just to stop and then build some more. <laughs> but hold on, we, we gotta have some armor here because I just, you know, I just, ugh, I just think it's a bad idea to leave that kind of vulnerable there. We'll put the big, big, big giant head over top. Yes, we could even make the big giant head bigger. There we go. <laughs> the only thing better than a big giant head is a bigger giant head. <laughs> Um, I think that laser needs to be at the top because I want to be able to see it just to barely see it there. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very simple ship, but uh, it, it'll, and it'll probably fail, but you never know. Okay, we are going to save the design. The BU-68 messy accident is ready for duty. And keep in mind, this ship has to be able to destroy our old ship too as well, which had those auto-aiming chain guns. Why did I put those on, the, on that ship? Because that mission was horrible. That's why. Okay, so away we go. Uh, distress call. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice, Space Force 1. Oh, it looks kind of like a blade on the side there. That looks really cool. Uh, the BU-68 Messy Accident reporting for duty. Okay, round one. Oh, oh, careful what you shoot at there, Rob. Oh, hold on. Let's go shift. Uh, hold on, shift. Guns. There we go. Okay, so we've got control of the main gun. Uh, he's faster than us. Uh, let's activate the engines. So you can't actually select any of these objects. Like if you select wing, I believe you can steer better. Uh, engines, you can move faster. I always forget about this part. You can actually select the different objects and of course... Uh, ooh, uh, the problem is you it, lose control of like the weapons. I just want to eliminate a couple of those engines and then... He should be slow enough and I wouldn't, I, don't, I won't have to use the, like actually control the engines, like put power to engine, power to engines, Scotty, power to engines. <laughs> Ooh, oh, don't fire, don't fire, don't fire. Ah, so we just want to take out that last little, oh, so there's an engine in the center too. So we got to take care of that. <laughs> ah, okay, fire. 
Fire! There we go. Ooh, stop firing! Stop firing! See, the little laser? Mind of its own. Oh! Ah! Okay. You know, I kind of I kind of wanted to do it to see how easy that was to do, and it was pretty easy to destroy the mayor. Oh, and didn't he say this? We destroyed the mayor, and we've done it before, apparently. Okay. Okay, round two. We can do this. I'm feeling confident. Very, very com- No, I'm not feeling confident at all. There's got to be- Hmm. Ah. Okay. So, my weapon- uh, My weapon selection is maybe not the best choice in that we should have only one weapon type on our ship. That way it can control- <laughs> Control the shots. Although, it is a little disturbing that- Um, I'm just curious. Is there any- <laughs> Sorry, I, you know we may have to redo this mission. I'm just curious. There's no other bad guys, eh? Interesting. Okay, so let's- Let's chase him down. <laughs> oh! Bad guys! Oh, perfect! Okay, so, uh, can I just destroy these guys really quick here? Maybe get a little bit of moolah! Oh, see? There we go. Very nice, very nice, very, very nice. Love it. Ooh, ha! Ah. <laughs> ha ha! Ha I see your shots. There we go. Very nice. Very nice! Okay, uh, I don't know if that was a wise choice or not. <laughs> let's get back to the ship! Okay, moving at top speed, let's go get the objective. Excellent. I'm feeling a little better with a little bit of money on us. I don't know. I just I just feel like we needed a little bit of money. Uh-oh. There he is. Ah! Whoops. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay. There we go. Woo! Okay. Carefully. 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 So that's the thing. I. It's For some reason, we can't tell our crew that, hey, don't shoot at anything. Um, you know, like when... Or only shoot at the engines. For some reason, we can't... Oh, there's another bad guy. Oh, wild. Okay. Whoa! Jeez, he came out of nowhere. Shoot. Carefully. Carefully. Careful. There we go. <laughs> okay. We can do this. Yes! <laughs> oh, how come... How did we lose money? See that? We're down to 49. We're at 50. We actually lost money. Huh? <laughs> but... Oh, something got hit. Or we, we got damaged and we lost money. That's bizarre. Wow, oh, that was easy. Very nice. Careful. Stop. Okay. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta... Okay, he's probably slow enough now that we can maybe... Okay, we gotta take care of these guys actually first. Because they're going to just rip us apart. There we go. Money! <laughs> um. Okay, another one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they look like little TIE fighters, sort of. Okay. There you go. He's slow enough now. Uh, let's get in there and destroy... Uh, we'll, we'll do the other outside engine first. We have 89 bucks. Okay, that's... A few, whoa, careful what you're aiming at there, Robbie. Woo! One more. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's kill this guy. Ah! I guess I gotta aim. Aiming. Ha ah, ah. ha! Ah, we can do this. Come on. They do. They look like little... Kind of like little TIE fighters. Pretty cool. Are we damaged at all? Oh yeah, we are. There we are. Our hull. Okay, engine. Uh, okay, let's take out that... Oh, oh, let's take out that... Okay, never mind. Uh, should we risk it? Yeah, let's take out that center engine. Carefully. Nope! Okay. We figure. One more time. I will get it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Should I fast forward to that point? <gasps> Let's see, I get, is this frustrating for you guys? I, I didn't, see, this is why I, I should have only one weapon type on that ship. Should we change that? Okay, hold on, let me just take a quick look. Um, can we, can we actually, can I change out this laser? <laughs> as much as I love the laser in the center, and you guys understood the theme that I was going for, I just don't think we can do that here. Could we replace the laser? Laser is power 12, yeah, we could totally do that. Okay, so let's do that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Uh, the eye, we're changing the weapon in the eye. The great eye, the great ominous eye, is now changed to a blaster. What is it called? This is a tri-stage bolt gun. I guess that works for the eye, I guess. Okay, so I'm happy with that. We're gonna save that sucker. We had more than enough power. and Actually, less power to use these tri-stage guns, and they're quite effective. So, But I do have to be very careful, because one round of that is pretty potent, so... <laughs> Okay, away we go. Let's let's do this. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Round three. This is round three, right? Yes. Okay, round three. Okay. <sighs> Take a. Should we go after? I don't know. It seemed like. Yeah. I just I wanted to have some money in under my belt because um, eventually we're gonna have to fight our our ship. 
And I like like our past ship, our the defectors. Oh, we gotta go faster here. Um, and so I, I I wanted to have a little bit of money in the bank so that we could make repairs when we need to. So where were those guys? I, I don't mind them attacking because they're they're pretty easy to kill. So that's that's a cool thing. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, so yeah, kill these guys first. Oh, oh that oh that gun's on a different. Oh, that's right. I thought because they were all the same gun. Uh, okay, so no, that other gun is actually being still being controlled by, uh, you know, my crew who are terrible. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, I, for some reason I thought these would all be on, you know, the same control, but no, they are not. There's the two and the one separate one. Uh, so maybe we should just stick to two guns? Maybe? Uh, but how are we supposed to be... I don't know if we can beat our, our last ship, because it was... It had the auto chain guns on them? Like, how are we supposed to beat our last ship with, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so far, so good. One engine down. <laughs> um, I'm just hoping for the best here. Uh, it's... Just letting the crew do the do the do the firing for now, and I'm just worrying about aiming carefully. Careful. Okay, maybe we should take control of the gun here. Okay, engine, a little bit of engine. Take out the one on the side here first. Whoa, careful. There we go. Very nice. Nope. This is, this is interesting. Uh, okay, let's do it again. I'm just gonna fast forward it until we get to the point at which we're fighting our own ship, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so see you guys there. Okay, so here we are. Um, but the, not, I didn't see any other enemy ships. So we have no money to repair a ship if we get damaged. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, okay, so I guess, I don't know. Let's try this again. Come on. <laughs> um, all it's gonna take is one really good round against our old ship. So we just, let's just put all of our effort into one really good Round of shots here. Oh, that was pretty good. There we go. There we go. He's he's disabled. We've got him. Aha! We did it! Oh, this game is brutal. I'm sorry. This game is brutal, man. It's fun. I mean it's it's totally fun. I just uh yeah. Whew. Okay, so they're gonna steal this ship, which is great because I hate the ship. It's terrible. It looks kind of cool. I like the eye with the little gun in it. It's awesome, but yeah, they're taking the ship. Okay, but at least we know next time the ship that we... this there's an important lesson to be learned with this episode. Be careful if you build your ships too good, um, they can be a bit of a problem. Oh, look at that! A new cockpit and a new gun. A broadside cannon, extremely short range with very high damage. Each shot consists of five five lead slugs, which can do ten damage each. The wide range, wide area effect makes it easy to hit any target if you can get in close enough. That would have been a terrible weapon for this mission. <laughs> Big area effect weapon. Scythe wing. Nobody knows who manufactured this wing or even what it's made exactly from. Um, but when it's when it's as agile as this, everybody ignores the nagging sense of impending Armageddon that they get from thinking about it. <laughs> It's a cool looking wing. That looks really cool. Almost looks Battlestar Galactic-ish. Eh? Like, like, yeah. Or a scythe from uh, Star Citizen. Uh, and then we've got the Tri-Stage Micro Crew. Oh, it's a small crew pod. Oh, cool. So if you just need to supplement your crew a little bit. Yeah, so it basically converts uh, power to crew. That's cool. Okay, awesome. 
I would love to do more than one mission per episode, but honestly, I've been playing now for a little over, well, probably about an hour and a half to do one mission. So I, I all I'm, all you're, gonna, you're probably gonna get one mission out of me a, a day, but I'm, I will try. I will do my best every episode to at least beat one mission. If I didn't beat the mission, I would be forever shamed. And of course, well, whatever. But anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying Defect. I am really enjoying this game. And when I scream, it's usually, it usually means that I'm just getting. You know, it's building up that ace and I'm gonna destroy them all. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So <laughs> anyway, guys, take care.